part D. It says the area of the triangle ABD over the area of the triangle ACD is equal to 3. Show that BD over BC is equal to 3 on 4. Okay, so we know an expression for the area of ABD. We did that in part uh, C of this question. That's just a half times BD times AD times sine of 180 or pi minus theta. Now we need an expression for the area of ACD, which is this triangle over here. Now I'm just going to use our angle as theta. So it's going to be a half times the two side lengths. So I'm going to use DC and DA, which is the same as AD, and then sine of the angle between them, which is sine of theta. Now this should be equal to 3. There's a few things we need to recognize here. We need to recognize that sine of pi on theta is actually the same as sine theta. Now if you don't quite see that, picture the unit circle. If I had sine of let's say 30 degrees, that's the height of what this 30 degree angle creates. If I had sine of pi minus th uh, 30, which would be 150, 150 over here, it's the same value, it's the same height, 30 and 50. If I did 60 and 120, it's the same value. So this is actually a identity we need to remember. Okay, so I'll get rid of this. I'll put a just a reference to it. So. The halves cancel out, the ADs cancel out, and sine pi minus theta is just sine theta. So they cancel out. So we end up just getting BD over DC is equal to 3. Now here's where I just want you to graphically picture what's happening here. BD over DC is 3, so BD must be 3 times greater than DC. We can write that if we want. BD is 3 times greater than DC. So BD, this line, is 3 times greater than DC. So if this is 3 to 1, it's a length of 4 in total. So BD, as a ratio of BC, BD is 3 of the 4. BD is 3, and we know it was 3 to 1, so 3 of the 4. That's why the question says show that BD, a ratio of BC, is 3 to 4. So we can jump straight to that answer. Okay, that's the answer to part D.